Hello everyone, this is Daniel Gamer 9988 coming to you from the Kill Clan PS3. And this is going to be episode 11 of the How to Play series. And we're going to kick it off with some headquarters on Underground. Headquarters, especially on the map Underground, is great. I love Underground. Underground is a map where it's like, it's like Resistance. It's a balanced map. You can use any kill streak. It's perfect, this map. Like, <clears throat> and here I prefer to use an ACR with a suppressor and kick because there's no recoil on the gun But with headquarters you have to try picking your fights well like go far range sort of and so that means I don't want recoil at all like virtually nothing And so that's why I decided to use kick and attachments I don't really like using the red dot and I kill myself right there. I have no idea why that's pretty dumb. I'm embarrassed now And so right here. Here's a great spot where I'm right now. This is perfect for like holding down that sort of headquarters area as I do right now, I try. But you have to watch a lot of areas because you're pretty like open out and you're like you're able to die faster because you're more open. And so yeah, I'm just picking off some enemies from afar as I try taking me out. Got a double kill right there. And so yeah, this this headquarters see my teammates capped it, but then after that one, I was so far away I wasn't willing to take the risk to go so far and to, to just cap it, and my teammate just suicided. What was that? Just jumps out the window and decides to end the life. And I get wall hacked right there. I have no idea how this Type 95 scrub, like, he doesn't even know how to play the game. I like OP guns. Woof. And I wall hack. Like, how powerful can the, they make it? And there you go. I'm scrolling to my teammates. I'm trying to see a good, like, yeah, there you go. This guy's using my, like, tactic. And in this lobby, I had fun because we won. But in another way, I never had that much fun because of the fact that I had haters on this team. This team, they were just like, oh, you're bad. Your KD's not positive and all that. I don't really care if my KD is positive or not. I just care about winning the game. It doesn't matter whether my win-loss ratio is even bad. It's just about winning the game, you know? That's what the attitude is whenever I accept people usually into our clan. Like, generally I really like that attitude, but sometimes I really don't like it. Like, I don't like people that generally would say, oh, I, like... I just, I have a good KD. I have a 2.70 KD. I don't care. I could care less. Good job. You, you have a positive KD. Congrats. Are you having fun? Are you winning the game? Are you trying to make the best out of playing Call of Duty like what I'm doing right now? This commentating thing is because I enjoy playing Call of Duty that I want to help people play. Like, I don't really want to take other people, other commentators' ideas. Like, there's, um, what's this? Uh, Drifter. He does a How to Play series. Uh, no, not the How to Play. The MW3 in-depth series. I love that series. That's just great. I it really makes me choose what type of say I want to play with LMGs one day. It really helps me choose which LMG I want I should play with. What has more damage, less recoil, what attachments are better. Everything to help you play. And there's a nice prone shot right there. And I switch it off for the G36C suppressed. And so yeah, like those series that other commentators bring out to the table are great. But I don't want to take them because I know that Drifter does such a great job. He has a great audience. And so I don't really want to copy his idea. And right here I get an advanced UV and I just keep spraying right. Oh, and I don't see this guy. And I go into last game, but I get killed by this grenade. See, like, a lot of people say final stand's cheap and all that. It's just the fact that if you're going to choose a death streak when you're going to die, like me, I rarely get into my death streak, but sometimes if I'm, like, struggling because airstrike and, like, a lot of, like, kill streaks are predominant in that game, I might get my death streak on, but yet I rarely manage to pull it off, like, Watch all these gameplays. Like these are just random pub lobbies. Some, some I'm playing myself. Some I'm playing with like a party. Majority I play with party. I try playing with party because then after you, I guarantee almost a win every time. I get flashed as I'm capturing this headquarter. I'm doing a solo cap right now. And I'm picking up people with wall hacks and all that, and I get taken out right away. And I get my juggernaut right there. And there you go. My teammates are trying to trying to keep this headquarters on lock. Which I really, I was just, I was watching their perspectives. I was just helping them. I went into third person and I tried going around the map. Like right here, I'm just switching between characters. And this guy goes down because he can't come with a UMP. But then after he pulls out an FMG9, which is, you know, it's pretty overpowered. But still, he cannot handle the recoil of it. As this uh, guy that I'm watching right now, he's the last one standing basically. He has extreme conditioning assassin and marksman with two attachments for G36C. Which is really good, but he just decides to run and call or kill him because of the fact that he has the he has he has the ballistic vest on which is a great thing to help your team out in game modes like 
Some of these I like, but then after sometimes we decide, I decide with my party what kill streaks we should all put on or what each of us should do uniquely. Right here, I throw my juggernaut and the headquarters spawns right here. So I'm just like, wow, that's pretty good. That's great. I love whenever the headquarters spawns right when I'm going to call my kill streaks. And right here, I pick up the juggernaut and I'm going to tear it up. Just capping those headquarters with the juggernaut is great. Like, the ability to have a bit more strength and more armor basically and right here a pistol is great like i could have picked up that scavenger pack but i didn't want to risk it and i have a smoke grenade which i can throw and see the pistol actually has some good range actually there you go pick up his scavenger pack i decide to cap it and throw a smoke no one sees me and got i'm getting thrown out with grenades you know people are always just like oh what if juggernauts were actually in the army that would be horrifying not really uh if you've seen the swat team no, that's pretty, like, them knocking down random people's houses, like, the doors and all that, but then after that, the, the criminal is actually not there. Like, why would you do that? And right here, I actually defend this headquarters pretty well, actually, because of the fact that I have extra health. I have a pistol, which is okay. I keep throwing the nades on me. And after that, I load. And also, guys, I'm going to be putting out a couple more series on it, as I'm right now, I'm a, f I'm a full director on this channel now. And, yeah, Adam's going to become a director soon. He actually is currently a director, but when he starts posting content, he'll become, like, su super director. But then after that, um, we're going to be doing a couple dual commentaries here and there. Sometimes when we play random. And this guy, idiot, who takes the airdrop trap. Alright, I think we pulled down this uh, headquarters for the full time. I'm not sure how many more seconds there is. And I believe after this headquarters, there's one more until after. And this guy's going to see You can't play game battles, buddy. And yeah. And so yeah, if you really like this gameplay, and like, I'm right now, currently, I'm 8th Prestige, about to be 9th. And so yeah, yeah I'm gonna, I, my, some people that I know and all, they really keep telling me I should be holding, I should be creating a video. To help people level up, how to level up faster. Like, I really feel like doing it in a way, but in the other, like on the other side of my head, I'm just saying, should I really reveal all these secrets? But I think I should do. I think I should do that one time. And also, I'm going to do an assault obliteration series where I use the assault track pa straight package. Oh, I can't talk to you. And I just obliterate, obliterate the team, the opposing team, and rape them with my assault kill streaks. Which generally if I use assault I usually use 357. Which I feel that's a great like gap. So that means I do one cap head one cap of the Dom site or something like that. And right here we cap this headquarters which is almost the end. Sixty more points and this team got sixty. And so yeah guys just watch out for all this new content that we're gonna bring out to the Kill Time PS3 which this how to play series is gonna keep going because the objective game modes, the new DLC maps that are coming out and all that. And also I'm gonna probably do a specialist Oh yeah, and also I have a How to Play Team Defender that's going to come out soon. And yeah, if you guys have any other uh, content that you want me to put up on this channel, please leave it in the comments. I'm more than happy to uh, read them and try my best. So that's the end of the game. Please rate, comment, subscribe, final kill. And there he goes.